Here today I wanted to show you a quick overview of G Skyer's 80Q Power Seeker Telescope. So here's the telescope itself. Uh, it, is, it is a fairly big telescope so it does have a counterweight on the bottom to help it uh, stay stable when you're positioning it. So I'll show you the tripod legs. They're made out of aluminum. They're pretty sturdy so you don't have to worry about any movement from um, the tripod and when you're moving the, the telescope around it's very important to have a sturdy tripod and this one's pretty well built. The bottom housing of the tripod is all metal and we have some knobs here to uh, adjust the tilts. So the actual telescope you can remove fairly easily if you're going to store it. You just take these two wing nuts off or loosen them up and this slides right off so you do get fairly easy storage so I would recommend keeping the box that the telescope came in so you can put it back in if you're going to store it. So here we have the little finder on the side and the actual eyepiece where you view the objects from. Here on the side we have the focuser that is adjusted like this and we also have the slow turning knobs for focusing the X and the Y axis. You simply turn them and it allows you to turn the telescope up and down or left and right. So you use these after you find whatever you're looking at and you want to do some more precision movements without moving it too much. And then here's the other one. You can see it there moving. And then on this one we have the tilt tells you what degree you're doing it. So and here we're at 40 degrees. Uh, but that's basically it. Uh, and here's the actual piece of the telescope. This one has an aperture of 80. So it's pretty wide aperture to look at. Um, the moon or some of the bigger planets but there it is just a little basic overview of the telescope